Well, folks, like, you know, this is like um, something that some people might find a bit horrible, but, like, you know, like if you don't like spiders or horrible things to look at, then switch off now, hit the YouTube button, and away you go, like, you know. But I've been in the wars recently, like, because, if you remember, I got... Da -da -da, where is it? That there, as you can see... That scabby thing is the remains of my first... That was the female false widow that attacked me recently. Like, you know. But it got worse because I got bitten again. Look at that. That there is the the ground zero of the false widow bite. It's a, a little male which is now gone. Right? And it has absolutely wrecked my forearm. I mean, look, look at the size of that ulcer, like, you know, that is all the poison that went up and down my veins, like, and it was producing big, big globules of, like, green and yellow jelly, like, and it's incredibly painful, it's not healing up, doctors are very, very concerned, because it's now 10 days now since this has happened, like, you know, and um, it's still going. Like, there's something in that spider's venom that is just refusing to allow it to heal. Like, and it's dissolved. It's literally dissolved the flesh. Like, you know, and you can see that blister, blister, blister. Like, you know, it's just absolutely... It's destroyed my tattoo. Like, you know, I mean, it's gone all the way down there. There's no tracking on this one. Whereas on this one, you can just see a little bit of the tracking that was left. And I went to the, I went to the doctors with that one. And they said, oh, the worst is over. And then I got bitten again. And look, bloody hell. He's like something out of Resident Evil. Like, you know, he's like a zombie fucking arm. Like, it's bad. Like, so look. False widows are not your friend. If you see a small, shiny black spider with a little hourglass um, thing on it, right, that's a male. If you see a big one, like, and it's got the same markings, like, it looks very much like a black widow, so it's got a white marking, or, right, you know, or it may not even have a, an hourglass on it at all, because if they're, they're like, um, what do you call, like, um, young um, adults, like, their white marking hasn't gone through. Right, so... Be warned, be aware, these things are nasty. And get yourself a can of this for me by a couple of quid spider killer. I sprayed some of that in the kitchen, right, um, to get the ones out of the kitchen out because, like, um, that's where the female attacked me, right? Um, like, get get some of this. I, I sprayed it in the kitchen, and like I went to come in to spray it in the um, other in the bedrooms in the bathroom, and uh, they're gone. <laughs> that, this stuff is so powerful; it's unbelievable. And apparently, it stops them coming in for about three months. Like you know, and this costs a couple of quid off eBay. So like you know, like do invest in that because these false widows are vicious. Like you know, and they are becoming a big, big problem. You know, I mean, my arm is absolutely destroyed. It's incredibly painful. You And I'm, I'm taking MST for other pains. And that is barely covering the pain. It's just like one huge... Like, the muscle itself is like, you know, sore. It's, it's, you know, and that was a small male. And I found that lurking like... Um, what what must have happened to us is he'd done his drop lines, like, you know... Um, in a corner lights up beyond the bed and he was actually lurking down in the darkness of my bed so of course when anything disturbed his drop lines it would come running up and attack them or well, i must have turned over in my sleep knocked the drop line or moved the bed or something he came up and he bloody bit me right you know and it was like two tiny little dots Right, that then they turned into like they had like kind of a cornflake like like it look about they they were like yellowy green and then I, I just cleaned them up with some surgical spirit, you know, put a bit of savlon over them. Didn't do a thing. Next minute, like, within half an hour, two hours, like, you know, bang, it started blowing up, like, you know, and it was just like a, a nightmare, you know, like, and savlon did nothing, you know. So, um, but...
but the, hosp- the hospital and the doctors are both very, very concerned that I've had such a bad reaction to a spider bite, you know, and these false widows, the government needs to do something about these false widows because they are becoming a menace. If I hadn't done what I'd done and just left it, I think I would have ended up with uh, that necrotizing phlitis, whatever it is, like, you know, where basically the flesh just dies and becomes like, it becomes like diseased and it falls off and it kills you. So, you know, all I can say is like, you know, beware. I mean, you know, I mean, that is just so raw from two tiny little dots and where the dots are it's just cratered and it's like about four about three to four millimeters deep you can't really see it very well in this light you know because it's just so full of gunge like you know it's deeper than that one and that one's very very sore like you know and because i've put got bandages on it i'm not scratching at it or anything this is all happening on its own anyway I hope that ain't put you off your breakfast. Stay cool, stay clever, like, you know, and speak to you later.